so excited. I'm so excited. I've wanted to play this game again since we stopped playing last time. I haven't touched it since. I'm so excited. I'm I'm 100% excited. Holy shit, I'm so excited. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to what's important. Let's get to what's important. We're back. Here we go. What? 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 Mind if I just sit this one out? Don't tell me what. To what? What? There we go. What? What? All right. You should try and maintain the poppy upgrade system. Mm. Keep her useful. Yeah, but we're getting rid of poppy as soon as theater. we fucking can. That's why. Yeah. I'm not bothering with it. It's a theater, all right. This tour is leaving. The guy we're here for leads the troop here. Ah, actors, eh? And right now, they're in the middle of a show. Well, you want to take a quick peek? The heroic adventures of Adam might be interesting. I've never been to the theater before. Neither has Tora. Let's do it. Nice and quiet, though. Looks like it's pretty packed today. Okay. Oh, the girl's coming with us? Okay. And I saw at that time that the powers of darkness had engulfed almost everything. People and titans alike were drawn into the abyssal vortex. The apocalypse was upon us. The end was nigh. But then, despite the wounds all over his body, the great Adam stood. Oh, architect, grant me power. Fuck, this game's so good. Power to banish the dark. Power to illuminate the world. You can see the fucked up parody sword he has. One of the ridiculous swords that we use. Oh shit, it's automata robots. Lo! Loyal servant of the Architect, the Aegis! O oh, Aegis, bless me with your power! Bring light upon the world! Thus they defeated the darkness! But at a terrible price! Three great continents sank beneath the sea of clouds forever. Servant of the architect, by thy power, the world is saved. For the gift you have granted us, we are eternally grateful. I shall spread thy legend far and wide. May your name live on for eternity. And thus the first flame was born. Is it is that Gwyn or Soler? And the furtive baby so easily forgotten. Hey. Kind of awkward, right? What was awkward? I mean, that play. It was about Pyra. Must have been R kind of bizarre. Rex didn't realize her. that. I don't know. I guess. Maybe you should go and make it right. Make it right? How? Oh. Idiot. Oh, figure it out yourself. Huh? What am I supposed to. Uh, uh. So, the theater. Wasn't it incredible? They had the cloth moving, just like real clouds. How do you think they did that? Huh? Uh, 
Yeah. The clothes are pretty cool. They were so... Cloudy? Ow! What are you saying, Bonehead? There's no need for that. I don't know what to say in a situation like she's, this. She can hear you. She's in front of you. Oh, she's doing an animister off the space. Okay. Well, you're safe. Coming in, old fella! Crikey! That was a good scene. Still collecting the junk, are ya? Watch it, you bruiser. Don't make fun of a man's hobbies. Huh, this guy's not evil. Some greeting for your old comrade. Comrade. <laughs> yeah, I was a freelancer before the firm got going. Believe it or not, me and this old fella tore up a good few battlefields in our day. We sure did. And thanks to that bleeding heart of yours, we almost never got paid. <laughs> Says the guy in the theatre troupe. You can't be raking in much dough, either. <laughs> well, what can I do for you, friend? Cole. You're old, ain't you? Cool. Old enough to know how you cross over to the World Tree. Get to Elysium, I mean. Elysium? But why? Why would you want to go there? That core crystal, you, you're... So the Aegis is back amongst us. Who is your driver? I am. <laughs> you? <laughs> but you're so young. How about it, old man? Do you know the way or not? Hmm. I dare say, if you've trekked all the way here to ask me, you've already tried she, going I wonder yourselves. if he's going to tell the Empire that she's yeah, here. But we couldn't make it. No wonder. No one can get to the tree while that thing's guarding the way there. Surely Sith Lord slash Meth Addict is not going to betray us. But a long time ago, there was a man who went up the tree. Met the architect, too. There was. Really? Really? Yeah. I'll wager anything. He's got an idea how to get there again. You should try asking him. Well, who was it? Uh, hmm. Please, tell us. I've got to get to Elysium, no matter the cost. Well, I can tell you. But first, I'd like to have a word with her, if I may. With the Aegis, I mean. With Pyra? Of course. Oh no. Please, through here. Is it him? Is is he is he the one that went up and met the architect? Mr. Cole, right? You wrote that play, didn't you? I hope it didn't stir up any painful memories. No. Some of them I'm are Adam. Good memories. <laughs> You know, you're not very convincing. I'm sorry, I really am. I just wanted people to know about that time. Show people how we were back in those days. Really get it across to them. Will you be using it again? That power? I don't know yet. I just don't know if this world can take it a second time. I know that. I'd never use it if there was another way. This is what I hope for, but... That man's the only one who knows how to get to where you're going. Do you think you can make it to him? I just wanted to make sure. We can. I mean, it's my destiny. <sighs> yeah. That boy who's with you. His name's Rex. He's a good person. With a kind heart. Reminds me of a certain someone. <laughs> okay, then. I'll help you out. Thank you, Minoth. Minoth? I'd almost forgotten that name. Okay, I don't think he's gonna betray us. They're, they're old friends. I don't think he's now gonna betray then, us. Now then, where did it get to? <coughs> 
<coughs> Grandpa? Old man, you okay? What was that pose? I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be fine in a second. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> don't mind. What's me. happening here? Why is nah, this going nowhere? Now we better call it a day, old timer. <sighs> I'm sorry, fella. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but come back again tomorrow, will you? Oh, gee, I wonder what's going to happen between I today and to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I know a place we can rest. Hey, we need, we need, we need, we need this guy to be able to tell them information, but not too much information. So we need, we need a way to break up the scene. So there's some mystery left over. Okay, how about we just make him sick, and that way we can end the conversation early in in an organic way, and then they only get half the information. Okay, that, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. So he's gonna, he's gonna be sick right from the start, right? As soon as soon as we go in. Oh no 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 no! We're we're we're, we're gonna make we're just gonna make him suddenly sick at the end of the conversation when we want it to be over. But why wouldn't we have him coughing when we first come in? So it's so it makes sense. Nah, that's a waste of time. That we we'd have to record two sets of coughs for that. So no, let's let's just record one set of coughs, and just play it at the end, in, 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 instead of playing it at the beginning. Okay, yeah, you're right. It'll, it'll save on costs, so we can spend more time animating Pyra's jugs. It's very important. Very important. Very important. Just... Just have him cough when you first come in. That's it. That's all you have to do. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'll be... It's just one blast from the past after another today. <laughs> Where's your cough, bro? You probably guessed, but we're not here for a reunion. <laughs> I love Chad Mark. Just as well. Chad Mark is so cool. Is gone already. How disappointing for you, comrade. <laughs> Still an asshole. Despite the years taking their toll, I'll wager all the doctors in this town are quacks. And all the blades are blunt. Ah, uh, the blades are blunt. Abrona and I, we could fix that stagnant ether flow with a minimum of bother. What do you say? You could still have a lot of good years ahead of you. I mean, I won't deny there'd be a certain quid pro quo involved. But old man, just think of the benefits. Come. Can't you lend us your expertise here? Do so, and you could live for a long, long time. You know, friend, I'm not as attached to my life as I used to be. Maybe I've had enough. Well, looking after your granddaughter. Your little lost souls will be simply inconsolable. The kids? No, they're strong. Uh, this is becoming a farce. A horrendously cliched one at that. That just summed up the whole game. Break a leg. That's going in the video. <laughs> what do you mean? They're not killing him? They're just leaving him? They're just leaving him? Huh. What's that? Hey, don't be shy. You heard everything we said. Didn't you? Oh, they're talking to a sign. Oh no, the girl's there. What a surprise. Can you... Can you really help, Grandpa? Why, of course. We can help. That is... If you can help us. Can you do that? For your grandfather? Okay, they look bigger now. What the hell? This is... You can't come here. <laughs> Charming. So you're making the rules now, huh? You didn't come here to talk about the old days, did you? We've snatched Minoth's little brat. No. Meet me at the place of your awakening. 
You remember it, right? <laughs> oh, and uh, come alone. The two bad guys of the Chad and Virgin meme, Joe. In the loo, I guess. In the loo, I guess. All right. Blades need to pee confirmed. That's important for 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 someone out there. Old man, what happened? Iona, she's gone. It must have been them. Who's them? After you went, Malos and some other guy paid me a visit. Malos was here. Who was the other guy? Didn't uh, catch his name, but he had red glasses. That's Akos. But what would you want with Iona? Wait, Nia, where's Pyra? She wasn't there when I woke up. What? No one seen her? Pyra, maybe she realized what was going on with Iona. Why don't you use well, your life link to realize two, where she is? It's not unthinkable. That girl, trying to save her on her own. Where's she gone? Didn't she leave a note? Did she leave no, a note? I'd have noticed. <laughs> I know where. I think it could be Alethro Ruins. Alethro Ruins? It's where Adam led his army of resistance from. 500 years ago. It's the place where the Aegis woke up too. <gasps> It must be that Malos is trying to lure her down there. I'm sure of it. Cole, tell us how to get there. It's at the top of the Great Stairway. Van Damme. Hey, fella, take care of this old man for us. Y yes. Let's move. And then they killed if him. we go now, maybe we can Van catch up to her. And arrive. Pearl Driver was Adam, Who right? Who cares? <laughs> Okay, is he gonna call Rex on all this shit? Because if so, he's out forever. <laughs> so lame. How long are you going to stay in that form? That's none of your concern. I am who I am. Where's Iona? Akos is the meanest son of a bitch I know. Oh, uh, I thought she would, might be hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> son of a bitch! Hmm. I still think we should have sent them a finger or something. But you know best. You know what we're after, don't you? Jin. Is he on your side, too? I exist for his benefit. That's all I'm gonna say. Really? Let's end this. Now. Wait, why do they... Why do they want her dead? <laughs> I'm okay, but Pyra's fighting alone. She's close though, really close. Well, well, I see I'm not the only son of a bitch. Still defiant, I see. What? Just give it up, girl. Think you can do it alone? Handle that power? I won't use that power, and I won't let you use it either! Hmm? You seem to be doing nicely without your driver. <laughs> it's like you don't know who you're dealing with. <laughs> I've done tons of grinding since you beat me on the boat earlier. You don't even know. The 200 you turtles. Beat me like that. Chad Marth killed 200 maybe turtles. I huh? can! Dia! The kid? Rex! 
Okay, why did we have to do party change then? Everyone! This was stupid. Van Damme, take Aona. Gotcha. We'll take care of these guys. Well, it's come to this. Oh, <laughs> needs must. Can't wait to lose this Abrona. fight in the cinematic after we beat them. Abrona. Abrona. Vegeta. Abrona. Do it. Yeah. Deathmatch. Rolling smash. <laughs> Your teeth so you fight Quick and hard! Sword! I love this game. Oh man, I love this game. It's so fucking I must admit, I've enjoyed playing my part in this hackneyed tale, but... Huh? You're bluffing. Okay, so that time we didn't win in the, in the game. Are we going to win in the cinematic this time? You see, blades draw their power from atmospheric ether energy. They send their power to the crystal where it manifests. But what if we were to interrupt the flow? Shit! Don't look good! Damn! The power's draining out of my weapons! It's no good. I can't transfer power, my lady. Master Pun, Poppy feels Okay, yeah, we didn't have to hear it from every single blade here. Okay, why aren't they affected by it? Why won't you guys leave Pyra alone? Isn't it obvious? We want the power of the Aegis for ourselves. What's the music? What's the music right now? Of humankind from the world. What? <laughs> Did Jim seriously say that? Erase all of humankind. My, my. Surely you knew better than anyone. You know what humans are really like. Huh? Cat curl ain't even yeah. human. What are you doing? You've seen the capital. You've seen the ships, weapons, soldiers. All poised to invade Moradain. Doesn't it make you want to laugh? Every corner of the world is defiled by such a vermin. But that's nothing new. They haven't changed a bit. Oh, in Chad Marth is continuing uh, no in Kingdom Hearts characters' the conversation. that hasn't changed is you. Father didn't want us to wipe out innocent life. Why did he make us then? <laughs> Get real. Get real. <laughs> That's what we're for, oh, to descend on the world and eliminate these pests. I love this game. I love this game. It's so good. What? Is that power coming from his blood? It's too late. Playtime's over. Let's end it. Akos! Agreed. Yeah, we're, so we're losing in the cutscene, right? We're losing in the cinematic after mostly kicking their ass in, 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 the, in the game, in the fight. Time for Pyra to just go Super Saiyan. Go Super Saiyan Pyra. Turn blonde. Let's go. Even if you hit, 
it'll barely register. Bloody idiot! Think I don't know! Who that? chose this music for this scene? Are you ready, Rex? Another lesson for ya! Something else you could do with a blade! What? What? <laughs> Bastard! He's channeling the energy from his weapon through his body. Yeah, nothing you can do to stop this evil blow. Nothing at all. <laughs> See, Van Damme's cinematic power level is just unbelievable. Unbelievable cinematic power level. So what? What what can what can interrupt the, the break through the blockage of 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 ether of of the ether block that they did suicide. Van Damme, move it, take Pyra and scram, kid. I can't, I can't just leave you here. Ah! Rex, don't go dying on me here. You gotta make it. You gotta get away from here now! Live! Live for her! You gotta make it to Elysium! I won't allow it! Give it up! Wait, so he's killing himself just to give us a chance to run away? I'm sure they can just, just find us again. It. Remember to fight your war. Van Damme! F. F. Oh, please. What a cliche. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Van Damme just died for nothing. Ah! Rex is near running. He just died for nothing. For this, for Van Damme. No. You have to go. You're a pain in the ass, little shit. Ah! I can't do it. Rex, 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 can't let you do this. So long, kid. Rex! What? What? Okay, now she's going Super Saiyan. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my fucking god. She actually went blonde. <laughs> what is this? You, you can't be like the act now. It's too late. Hey, idiot, look out. Huh? Whoa, whoa, get lost, Mitra. Mitra? Pyra, you're... I am not Pyra. Huh? I am Mithra. Pyra, she's a different self that I constructed. A different self? We're, we're doing this now? No time for that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. Now focus. You need to focus. Or I can't transfer my power to you. No, it can't be. Powers are useless? Where is that energy coming from? 
Wake up! She's not drawing from the ether, it's something else! Not ether? Mithra! Looking good! Things are heating up! Things are heating up! Let's do it! What is this? It's called foresight. I don't... A prediction of what will happen in the immediate future. Read their movements to find an opening, then counter. Oh, so get Mithra's tutorial now. Hey, how did he dodge that? Who cares how? Just get them! Piece of cake. Yeah. You little... There's no way. There's no way to break their link. I don't think we're gonna be. And them. this is a cinematic. We should this be able to win. It. The true power of the Aegis takes me back. I've waited so long to see it again. Mithra, welcome back. Okay, time to lose in the cinematic. I'm probably just gonna run away. What is this? Akos! Abrona! What? I thought a I thought a blade couldn't die unless the driver dies. I don't. What? We gotta retreat. Akos! Abrona! Vegeta. No time for that, Akos. Can't wait for Bron to be on our team now. Bandam. Mithra, can you anime bring him back to life, please? Oh, great. She's shit waifu now. <laughs> I like the copy past the chat right now. That's pretty good. Chapter 3, Our Own War. Save your game. When Rex says, so I really am the best, it is a complex refutation of America's vision of meritocracy. He inherited his power almost entirely by luck when he met Pyramithra, but he has now deeply internalized this as a strength in himself rather than blind luck, much like the ruling elites in America view they're born into wealth as a reflection of a good in themselves rather than complete chance. That's 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 some that's some really good copy pasta there. Well done, whoever wrote that. Well done. That was really good. You gonna play Metal Gear Rising or Revengeance on stream sometime soon? Yeah, on Monday. Yeah, we're gonna play it on Monday. I think Monday. It might be Tuesday, but we'll, we'll, we'll play it. We'll play it uh, sometime next week. Uh, Brona. It was you cat hands with it. Well done. Let's some good copy pasta. We're a real stream now. We have copy pasta, right? I love this game. This game is so good. I love this game. Okay, so is this a flashback of the continents falling? Hey, can someone tell me who who's played the other games? Was Mithra in the other games?
Okay. The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward. Wait, what? Born and reborn. The, forever part of the great ether stream. The, they just buried him here? Why friends make yeah. Live here. Can we not take Biggie Pon home to village? Yeah. Thank you, Tora. He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. What? But this we're above the tail. Is this is this even I'm so ground? Sorry, Santa. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be. It's all your fault, blue haired girl. I'm yeah. Sorry. You you should be sorry. He's dead. I'm so sorry. Pirate, why did you need a death sacrifice to un unveil your it's true not power? Your fault. No matter what, those guys would attract us down eventually. What matters? Is that Vandam saved all our lives? For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. But nothing else, <laughs> just for that. You're right. I won't forget your words, Vandam, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Pyra? Pyra, it's a funeral. You're still dressed like that? It's a funeral. Are you alright? Yes. Good. Are her boobs getting bigger? I was worried that you might not. Wake up. Pyra. You know I've got to ask. That thing that happened yesterday. You called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... Um, I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyra was super strong. Why so So strong, blushy huh? crushy. No, no, don't pressure the girl. Well, Tora uh, needs to know, Senpai. The thing is, I mean... Pyra? No, it's Mithra now. She, when she's blonde, she's Mithra, dumbass. How are you Why? not getting this? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I oh. left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power That's a again. Nice ass shot there. But then you woke me up. Ruining this emotional scene. Woke you up. If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. All right, Mithra's best girl. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Mithra's best girl. Didn't you listen to that Vandam guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. Yeah. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You. You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Oh no. Now she's become Pyra again. Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Everyone. This is the best game. I'm very sorry about all that. I love this game. 
<laughs> this is the best game. Notice how we didn't get an answer to a single question there. Malos and I are Aegises. Oh, here we go. Okay. Blades born with a terrible power. Malos? Strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. But Malos has a, has a blade. Long ago, there was a man who climbed the world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But... When he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to Alrest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. What? For greed. For power. Or perhaps... When Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power. Without restraint. And yet, when we first met him, he was level 6. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. Why so didn't Malos he use both of the crystals, fought. though? Okay. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. Oh shit, a robot. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity after all. Gramps? Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the cloud sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's a pirate. Oh my god, Rex. I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never... Fate, otherwise her. known as the writer of the game. You call her your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, we'd go home to the real Elysium. And then we would fulfill our real purpose. Why didn't you just go to Elysium instead of sinking yourself in a ship in the bottom of the ocean? Just go to Elysium and hang out there. Malos again. This was a dumb plan. This was not a good plan. This was not a good plan. Where's Adam? Why didn't why didn't I'm very sorry Pyra turn back into a Mithra. crystal? She didn't mean all that. She did. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal don't worry about it she was right this was all my fault i'm just glad hmm? 
that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. You know that. I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. I know I can. I love right. you, Para. I... But not power like that. Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. Why is it Vandam now? It's Van Dam. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. <laughs> Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the salvager code. Yeah? <laughs> Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot o sound? <laughs> Delicious. Mm, can't wait. That smile, Rex, never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Remind you of Adam, don't you think? Oh, because Rex is Adam. she crying or what was she doing yeah rex can't be normal right no parents grew up with a dragon like it's gotta be oh, fuck. are you gonna cough again or, What's this? or was it really truly just a plot cough take it and go to indol that dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to elysium this is a blade weapon right who's its owner the man who was once my driver. Oh, what the fuck? Your Is driver? everyone a blade? Uh -huh. But then... Cole is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. <sighs> yes. His real name... Gramps has Minos. a gem too. Is Gramps a blade? Does not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. Oh, of course. Yep, of course. Sorry. A uh, flesh eater. What do you mean, Rex? We know that already. Who has been fused with human cells? Just like you, Rex. A long time ago, before the war, some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments. One of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create blades with extremely unique powers. But only very rarely. Most experiments were failures. And I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all. And lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. Grandpa. Before I go. Grandpa. I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid so, you. So you're conveniently going to die right will after we get to you where me? you're important for the plot. Will you please cough one more time? Please cough again. Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to Rex, do if you tell him too? to live, namely, I was wondering, okay, if you could write a play about Vandam. About Vandam? Yeah. Vandam? I think his story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then. An interesting notion. 
Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. Understand? Absolutely. You have my word. He still hasn't coughed. He still hasn't coughed. We're still going? Ooh, this one can fly. Oh no. What kind of Nosferatu bullshit is this guy gonna be? Do, do. Oh God. Okay, we got one. Is it a waifu? Call me Gorg. Okay, Gorg. It is a great honor to have met you. All right, welcome, welcome to, to, to the team, Gorg. I pledge the whole of my power to you. All right, welcome, Gorg. No, we're not sending this blade. No. Nope. Don't look so down. The boss left a message with me to give to him if anything ever happened to him. A message from Vandom. For me, you don't think he knew he'd... Maybe. If you ask me, I don't think he knew. It's just the kind of life that us mercenaries live. You never know which day might be turn out to be your last. So it's not uncommon for us to leave messages like this, just in case. Now listen up, because this is important. Rex, I leave the Garfont mercenaries in your hands. What? Um, is there anything else? Nope, that's your lot. What? Leaving it to me? That's a joke, right? This is no joke, kid. It's Vandom through and through. He says what he means. No more, no less. Well, I mean, I won't deny it's simple, but why would he ask me to? And the boss thought a lot of you, kid. And I think you've you've stuck a chord with the rest of us, too. I haven't spoken to anyone else who lives here. You're an honest, straightforward guy with plenty of nerve and resolve, and you give us all hope. I don't think I, I don't think I can really take all the credit for any of that. Oh, geez, Rick. Maybe not, but there's something about you, kid. Everyone feels it. So tell me, Rex, will you do as the boss asks? No. No, I don't want to take over the Garfont mercenaries. No. What happens if I hit no? Is it just going to say no, you have to? No. Rex, could you think back to Vandom's last moments? You're the only one who ones who were there to witness it. Me and Zuo have no way of knowing the details. How do you think he felt at the end? What led him to sacrifice himself? Did he believe he found something worth giving his life for. I want you to think carefully about that. No. No. Rex. Then why are you giving me a choice? Alright, I'll do it. Strong words, well said. Nothing less than the guy old Vandom staked his hopes in. But, um, what exactly would I have to do as the band's leader? You said you don't have any other messages from Vandom, right? Nope, he's a man of few words, but of course... We, he never shut up when we were with him, but of course, you'll have me and Zuo to help you out. We couldn't ask you to suddenly handle all the operations on your own. You just dole out the big general orders for now. You can count on us to take care of the details, and then I guess we'll see how things go from there. Okay, I guess I can probably handle that. Right, let's start explaining how things work around here. Okay, I just want to point out that we're now in charge of a big mercenary group. When two days ago, we were playing hide-and-seek with a bunch of kids. I reckon the quickest route is back to Argentum, ship to Moradain, then on to the Praetorium. If we're lucky, there'll be a guild ship at the port. Can't say no to a free ride. Let's go and see. It doesn't cost anything? Salvagers can board guild ships for free. I'll negotiate for you guys, too. That would be big help!
All right, Clippy, how's it going? Looks like you've become the leader of the Garfont mercenaries. Congratulations. Let's take a moment to go over what you just told us. Don't worry, there will be a cutscene where, Re where Rex trips, uh, trips and falls down on Mithra's boobs. She will fall in love with him and you'll be able to use her all the time. Cool. In battle too, though, right? Stripey Lord just reset for two months. Thank you very much, Stripey Lord. Wubba Subba Dub Club. <laughs> Feels good, man. <laughs> Thank you, Rush, for the resub. You're trapped in the cringe cafe. Wait, can we just fast travel here? Alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. Quite the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. What if we had just fast traveled here? Are you seriously not just deliberately mocking the people who like these kinds of games when you call it a parody? It sounds like you're being facetious. No, I mean it. I, I genuinely mean it. This this game, like, okay, the the whole thing is it isn't isn't a non-stop parody. Like the the whole they, they did they did try to make a game and the game does have some successes and failings. But I I, I do I do think that the the majority of this game is 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 making fun of the genre. There's there's no way. There's no, I, I refuse to believe, unless something is so mistranslated that, that it's, it's not even the same thing anymore. The, the, the game, the game is, 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 is a joke. I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult anyone. I, I genuinely mean it. The water tower scene alone proves it for me. I think you're comparing this to old JRPG like Chrono Trigger. Today JRPG are made to look like anime and are actually like this. Uh, I don't know. I played uh, Final Fantasy 12 and 13. I think those. I must have played another JRPG uh, uh, in addition to that recently, and I don't remember them being this bad or or this this stupid. And I've had a lot of people in chat tell me that they love anime and this is just terrible. And 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 it's and it's really not not good. So I don't know. Like how how is we'll beat them with the power of friendship? Not not a parody. How 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 is that not a parody? You know, Rex is saying that, and then in the cutscene, Chad Marth will say, "Shit," you know, like and 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 we'll and we'll throw out curse words and you son of a bitch and and you know. Has anyone has anyone <gasps> dropped an dropped an f bomb yet? I don't know. And then, and then the power of friendship. Oh wow, together they must be ultra powerful. You know, like it's come on. Right. So it looks like we're heading out tomorrow. Everyone, make sure you're ready by then. Understood. Affirmative. The tea here is lovely. You can find quality goods here from all around, Orrest. You like the place? Yes. If there's time before we leave, I think I'll have another cup later. Ooh. Getting crazy, Pyra. Mm. <sighs> Feels so good to rest in a proper inn after a long voyage. Yeah. It's good to be on familiar shores again. Nice hat, Tiger Man. Oh no. Doing in my bed. Wait. Uh, ah! Get out. 
Again. I am such an idiot. Hmm. Is this what they call sleepwalking? You were staring. Huh? Are you guys sure Pervert. it's not a parody? Are you sure? Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you sure? She's certainly exposing an awful lot of She's skin. always like that. Pot. Meat kettle? Would you care to explain what that is supposed to mean, my good sir? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Uh, hi, Pyra. Oh, good morning. Listen, about earlier... I'm sorry about Mithra. She gets very confused when she's just woken up. Oh, I see. It didn't get violent, did it? No, what does she mean, I didn't do anything again. weird. Not a thing. No, it was more Mithra I was worrying about. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess... But she did throw a thing or two. Oh. oh no. So that was where that came from. I'm shouldn't, sorry. Did it? Hurt shouldn't a lot? you have one too, Pyra? No. Because you're linked with really? with help with I'm with fine. damage. Remember? Are you sure? Honestly, my head is still there. We go. Ah. To be young again. Indeed, indeed. We need a little romance in our lives too, eh? Actually, I'm quite all right. Wow. Gramps in the friend zone. Tiger just put Gramps in the friend zone. Whoa, how did Rex get here? Geon. Yes. Is this Adam? I have returned from my assignment, Your Majesty. Welcome back, Morag. You too, Bridget. I'm honored. It is good to see you again, Bridget. You look well, too, Ijan. So this Aegis truly was the genuine article? Indeed. And the boy? From his garments, he appeared to be a young savage. Adam. I would be most interested in meeting him. That can be a Maybe? Arranged. I don't know. Do people not age? We have received reports of an attack on a ship headed for the Praetorium. A transport vessel? Yes, carrying a cargo of core crystals. Core crystals? Torna's work then? Most likely. According to a lucky survivor, the culprit was a masked man. <gasps> Don't see the mask. Jin, it must have been him. This is the third time. From what I hear, Urian vessels have also suffered significant damage. My sincere apologies. This is all my fault, Your Majesty. 
I let that Torna girl off lightly. I should have interrogated her more. You set the captive loose because you felt it necessary, did you not? That is enough for me. Besides which, if this really is the doing of that masked man, I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. We have more pressing issues. Yeah, he's killed consider. a lot of turtles since the beginning. He Sometimes. was level six at the start, but he's probably level, at least level level twenty now. Independently resumed the excavation of Judicium. He's almost unstoppable. The pro-war faction, Senator Roderick. The loss of those core crystals must have made them restless. Judicium is a very delicate region. It would be unwise to provoke Uriah. I understand your meaning. If the Senate make any unsavory moves, we can take action. I'm counting on you, dear sister. Do you remember that scene in Final Fantasy VII where you're fighting with Sephiroth and Sephiroth is so much more powerful than you that he just does 5,000 times more damage than you can do because it actually took into account that this would be that, that that matters cool attention to detail right this game's like nah fuck it they're, they're the same level as you who cares no i think i think i think the 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 idea of trying to make something that's so bad is good is interesting and that making fun of a lot of, of the storytelling of video games is interesting but if you guys if you guys are right and it's not a parody then this game is awful this light what is it rock's core crystal it was like a stone. What happened? Don't you remember, Rex? Vanham told you. Core crystals don't die. They always regenerate after a while. Regenerate? Yeah. Ready to be reawakened you, by a new driver. How are you not? <sighs> so, if I resonated with it now... Then a new rock would be born into this world. A new rock? Vanham's blade. What do? I'm not sure. Taking Vandam's old partner. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, but maybe he would have wanted you to do it. Just do whatever. <laughs> just right. do whatever. Just do it. Probably time we headed for the ship, right? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and register us for boarding. Nia, do we really need to rush? Sure, we could take our time and miss out on the good seats. Nia, you're Oops. such a child. Ow. Oh no, someone just stole Rock's core what crystal. What was that kid's problem? Rex, your bag! Huh? No. No, no! What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. You mean the little blighter? After him, at once! Titan's foot. No, I think I think I think the 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 idea of trying to make something that's so bad is good is interesting, and that making fun of a lot of, of the storytelling of video games is interesting. But if you guys if you guys are right and it's not a parody, then this game is awful. This light, what is it? Rock's core crystal. It was like a stone. What happened? Don't you remember, Rex? Vanham told you. Core crystals don't die. They always regenerate after a while. Regenerate? Yeah. Ready to be reawakened you, by a new driver. How are you not? So, if I resonated with it now... Then a new rock would be born into this world. A new rock? Vanham's blade. What do? I'm not sure. Taking Vandam's old partner. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, but maybe he would have wanted you to do it. Just do whatever. <laughs> just right. do whatever. Just do it. Probably time we headed for the ship, right? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and register us for boarding. Nia, do we really need to rush? Sure, we could take our time and miss out on the good seats. Nia, you're Oops. such a child. Ow. 
Oh no, someone just stole Rock's core what crystal. What was that kid's problem? Rex! Your bag! Huh? No. No. No! What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. You mean the little blighter? After him, at once! Titan's foot! Got him. That little thief looked pretty young, right? Yeah. And those ears. Got Motti for sure. So let's see. There, that's the brat. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Why, that little... He stole the... What? What now? How, how, did, how did you get go. the ship moving? Are there any <laughs> what? We were just there on the dock. Garen. What? Hey, Rex. Watch the big hurry. <laughs> Let me a boat. <laughs> right? <laughs> sure, but why? There was a pickpocket. Took our core crystal. Not, not there. he jumped on the boat that was already leaving. He oh, stole man. the whole boat. Bring that ship back here. <laughs> why? That's Pitman's ship. Your thief's on board that thing. Please. All right then. The key's in the slot, so you can take her right out. Thanks. I'll bring her back as soon as I can. No worries. Go get him, Rex. Do we have a ship mini game now? What? Wh what? That the ship! Yeah, no doubt about it. This is where he got off. He may still be somewhere nearby. Right, then let's ask around and see what Ooh. we can find. Good plan. What? So... Did we just did we just fucking tugboat behind him for days to the next continent? What? What? Where are we? What? 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 What the fuck? We we must have been inside of him the whole time because. Otherwise, we wouldn't have known where he went to. So, we, we just weren't fast enough? Okay, Poppy can fly. Poppy can fly. If we're on the right track, he should be around you, yeah? Thief using Umon's workshop as hideout? I never dream of such a thing. That's him. Let's surround them so he can't run. Gotcha. Oh, you lot. Kid, you sure led us on a merry chase. You've wasted a lot of our time, you know. Damn it. Look at you. You're only kids. Why don't you just give back what you took? We'd rather not hurt you or anything. You're basically a kid yourself. Boy, I'll have you know I work for a living. Right, hand it over. No, no you're not having it. Oh no, not the birds. The core crystal is ours now. If you want it so bad, you'll have to take it by force. What? 
Well, nothing for it, I guess. Oh. All oh. right. Let's oh. go. Are we really gonna beat up the Oliver Twist gang? Well, we took it by force. Just like you wanted us to. <sighs> Titan's foot. You're all barely ten years old. Why are you stealing from people? Because they're hungry and don't have anything else to do, Rex? Look, keeping your traps shut won't help anyone. My lady, be a little more gentle. Why? They're only petty thieves. Be that as it may, they are still children. Look, I'm sure there's a reason you're doing all this. Are you just that hard up? What do you take us for? We're not some poor beggars. Okay. So it's not money you're after? Then what the hell is it they want? You should just tell everything. We want protection. Let's That's why we wanted the you. crystal. So we could become and protect ourselves. Come on. We want revenge. Oh. Revenge? We're gonna avenge our village. What village? You don't mean... You were planning to awaken this blade and use it. Well, why don't you tell us the whole story? We might be able to help. Bandits attacked your village? It was just a small, peaceful village. But the bad men... Just because we had water, they... Did anyone survive? Don't tell me. You're the only ones? What's your name? Me? Why do you want to know? Please, kid. It's Reese. <laughs> from Cordell Village. Of course Village. it's Reese. Cordell Village. Can't say a word of it. It's just a tiny village on the outskirts of Gormot. Not many people know it. Okay, Reese. I get why you did this. But still, it's not right to steal from people. Besides which, awakening a blade is dangerous. Do you know what happens if it fails? You get a nosebleed for three days. You never know until you try. Long as one of us manages it, that's all that matters. Sounds like you really were desperate, my boy. I assume you know the whereabouts of these bandits? There's a big cave over on Twin Trunks Hill. They use it as a hideout. Oh, Reese, it's awful! Those scum are gonna... <gasps> Who are they? I thought they were the only survivors. Don't worry about them. What's the matter? Right, okay. The bandits are planning to attack Turrigoth. Are you sure? Yeah, we overheard one of their men talking about it in the city just now. And it was definitely one of them. It looked like they were scouting the place out. They were saying with the console gone, now's the perfect chance to take advantage. A shrewd observation. This would indeed be the perfect time to mount an attack. Are you trying to tell me that idiot console was actually good for something? So, this all our fault? Well, yeah. I guess we no, might have been the trigger. that's not how it works. We can't sit by and let this happen. Agreed. Right, you lot, you can leave those nasty bandits to us. What? Why do they take turns speaking like it's some kind of council meeting? Uh, because we'll they have all their village. practice shouting over each other during fighting. But... Don't worry. By the way, name's Rex. Reese? Take the others and go warn the city guard. Warn them about the bandits? 
Nah, they probably wouldn't believe you if you said bandits were coming. So tell them about us instead. Tell them the guys who destroyed the water tower are hiding out at Twin Trunks Hill. If you say so, but why? Don't worry, you'll see. We're counting on you, okay? Okay. Oh, we need rock. What the... Well, this is quite the unhelpful obstruction. Hey, isn't this the same as that thing we saw in the blowhole with Van Damme? Indeed. It seems to be the same phenomenon. In that case... Yeah. We just need a little help from Rock. Vandam, mate, hope this is okay. Rex. So you couldn't bind any other blades to Vandam because he 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 was gonna die, so that's why. So you can't you know who else you can't bind any more blades to? Torah. So never give up hope. Torah might might die. of habit all right you really did it rock so you are my new driver um Bit of a scrawny one, if you ask me. But, oh well, it's good to meet you. Um, hmm. He talks kind of like Van Damme, eh? Van Damme? Who is that? Oh, right. You wouldn't remember since you've been reawakened now. He was your old driver. My old driver? Ah, so my core was passed down to you. We could have stolen it. I didn't sense any guilt in your words. Hmm, you're a perceptive one, all right. Yes, you take after your old master in more ways than one. Listen, Rock, we need your help. Reckon you could clear the way for us? This stuff? Of course. Nothing simpler. Wow. That hardly took any time at all. <laughs> I did say it was a simple task. Thanks a bunch, Rock. Rock? Tell me something. My previous driver. You mean Van Damme? Yes, this Van Damme. What kind of a man was he? He was incredibly strong. He looked kind of scary, but he was kind, too. And he saved my life. It's thanks to Van Damme that we're all standing here we now. We knew him for exactly two days. I see. Then I think I'd better protect you all. The first too. time we met him, he pretended to be huh? a bad guy to fight us. To carry on my driver's and will. even though we beat him, he As still had a blade to my neck. That's the path I feel best befits a blade. 
Oh, rock. What? Okay, now they're suddenly there. Okay. All right, but how did they get here? So what's the plan? Looks like there's quite a few of them, and they have blades too. No time for complicated plans. Don't worry. How? There'll be no match for us. I knew you'd How say did they that. Cast the miasma. But hey, I'm not saying you're wrong. Just remember, we're not here to kill anyone. So mind you don't go overboard. Was Rex Rex not going to Avenge Village? There's more than one way to do that. Right? Well, if you say so. Understood. Right. Let's go. All of you, put down your weapons. You're not going to harm that city. Who the hell are you punks? We ain't got time for a bunch of kids. Hold it. They're drivers and blades. Now I get it. The city hired you, huh? What do you think? How'd you find out about... Whatever. Hey, lads! Let's slaughter these brats! We'll make an example of them! Yeah! yeah! Do -do -do. <sighs> well, we managed to beat them, all right. But what now? Ah, right on time. Oh, I get it. That's why you asked the kids to call them you. It isn't us they need to answer to. Right? Leaving them to the authorities. A wise decision. I suppose we should probably leave then. It's not a good idea to be here when the military arrives. Let's go. Yeah, let's yeah, move. I hope they don't see you, your glowing figure running away from the scene of the crime. So you see, considering the situation, could you let them off the hook? Hmm. I'd hate to deny a request from you, Rex. And I can see these kids have had a hard time. What do you think? Well, I suppose I did get my ship back safe and sound. Hey, how about this? Make them work for the guild, and get them to work off what they owe that way. What? These brats! Are you saying we should make salvagers of them? I think they show a lot of promise. They've got pretty quick fingers. Right? Come on, you know it makes sense. They're poor little orphans with nowhere to go. Are you really just gonna turn them away? You sure know how to twist a guy's arm. All this right, is a good kid's I'll game? No, because they swear. I'll sort out the details with Papunin. But it's just bed and board for And look now. at Pyra and Bridget and everything. If you want paying, you prove yourselves first. You hear that? And and, 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 and the sex jokes and everything? Like, no. Wow. I don't think it's good for kids. Right then, work hard, you rascals. Finally, we actually get to depart from Moradain. Quite the strenu strenuous detour we ended up taking there. Yeah, I'm so glad that's part of the game. Empire of Moradain. Finally, we made it. So good to be on land again. It was a pretty long voyage. This place seemed more empty than Poppy expected though, most likely because this is a small port separate from the main city. That must be it, so I suppose our next task is to journey to the capital. From what I heard in the ship, if we just head out to the port to the right, we should be a straight path there. Not too far off then. Still, this is our first time in this country, so we better keep our wits about us. Agreed. It might be best to make preparations before we head out. Oh, we can open the beastly core crystal. Alright. Oh, shit. Look at this thing. So that's the same... 
the same thing they died, does that make sense? Look at this thing. I, uh, Wolfric. Is he fire again? Driver, use my power. Crush your foe. Is he earth or is he fire? He's earth. Cool. I like him. He's neat. <gasps> Alright, what is it? Ooh, what the fuck? Here's Kara. Cute, fierce, fighting fit. Yeah, she's okay. All right, Cora. Oh yes, that's it right there. Oh yes, that's it right there. Oh yes, that's it right there. Hey hey, I bet you need my power now. It's been a long time coming. Always cute and fierce, though. Ooh, yes, that's it right there. I think there's only one response to that. What? what? Ooh, yes, that's it right there. What? 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 Oh no, it's another crushy, blushy point. All right, Rex, sir. Rex, Rex. Tora have to ask for friend as fellow man's man. Tora want to gain understanding of life as adventurer. As an adventurer? Rex Rex is role model of Tora. That why Tora want to learn everything he can about being Rex Rex. Cora and Walfrick need courtships? Yeah, we, we, we were just talking about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I was talking about how about we just mentioned it like 30 seconds ago and then I mentioned it about I think 10 minutes ago. I was talking about how um, I I need to grind out and get them and we'll buy them when we get to the next store thing. Yeah. This is all very sudden, Tora. What's going on? Come um, now, Rex. Don't feel too important. He just wants to talk. In any case, it's not so common for Master Pond to ask something so directly. Exactly! Tora being earnest like never before. <laughs> Tora submit as evidence this direct and flinching eye contact. Wow, your pupils are really dilated. That's what you get, staying up all night. All right, tonight Master Pon go to bed early. Meh, 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 enough! Tora's eyes are worried of Tora. It not matter. This important. Tora want to be like Rex Rex. Rex Rex, please teach Tora. I'll teach you all that life's taught me. Thank you. Tora cannot wait. All right, Tora, listen up. To become a responsible adult, here's what you need to do. Firstly, you've got to take good care of your tools. Ah, Tora, very good at that. Runs Poppy's diagnostics every day. Indeed, Master Pond keep Poppy in impeccable state of maintenance. Secondly, you've got to take good care of your friends. If you if you kicked Tora really hard, like just imagine kicking him. Would it be like kicking? A pillow or do you think it would be like kicking a ball what, what do you think it would feel like if you asking for a friend to rely on, you'll be in trouble when a big job comes around hum 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 Tora see Tora always work alone until now so that point still a little new to Tora and most importantly number three 
Yes, yes. Keep a strict waifu. Wreckage coordinates. A strict waifu list. Ah, of course. Tora can see that. Very important. One moment. Wreckage coordinates. That's right. If you mess up the coordinates, all the prep you've done goes down the drain. You might lose out on any loot you could have got otherwise. <sighs> um, Rex, isn't that salvaging you're talking about? Huh? Yeah, why? One moment, please. Why Rex Rex talking about salvaging? You wanted to know about adventure, yeah? And what greater adventure is there than salvaging? Tora want to know driver wisdom. Have no use for salvager wisdom. Meh. What? Masterpon, it seemed that Ask Rex about art of being driver not bear fruit. After all, Rex is a rookie. Wow, Gramps. Tora is disappointed. Tora is disappoint. I really thought you were thinking of being a salvager, Tora. Meh, it's fine. Tora, ask Nia. Hang on, Tora. Let me let me try again. What's worse, Clamaria or Tora? Tora. Oh. So this is the Imperial Capital. Such a big city. Maybe their place is selling rare junk parts for upgrading Poppy. Time to go look. Masterpon, Poppy would rather use new parts if possible. Man, man, is that you there, Tora? Have not seen Tora in long time. Remember me, Mui Mui? Huh? Why random old guy know Tora's name? <laughs> Oh, Tora not remember me at all. It Mui Mui. I was assistant of Professor Su Su, your grumpy pon. <laughs> the mustache. <gasps> oh no. Tora, remember, Mui Mui should have said to start with. Mui Mui did say. <laughs> oh right, Mui Mui not very interesting, so Tora forgot he exists. Tora, that's not very nice. No, no, I do not blame Tora. What? Tora was very young back then. Not surprising he forget. Besides, Master Pon was quite distracted just now, only thinking of how to upgrade Poppy. Why could it be? This looked like artificial blade. Mui Mui, right? Tora studied Grampy Pon and Dada Pon's blueprints carefully and finished construction. Meh, meh, how wonderful. If only Professor Su Su still here to see results of hard work. Rip Su Su. Mui Mui, you have any idea where Dada Pon went? That day when the lab was attacked, Mui Mui was out on errand. When I got back, Professor Susu's body was lying there. <sighs> but there was no sign of Professor Tatazo. I see. Even Mui Mui not know. Mui Mui is Do not evil. Get down, Master Pon. We will find Dada Pon someday. Though no evidence for this hypothesis. <laughs> anyway, Mui Mui apologized for interrupting your trip when you just arrived in city. Friend of Mui Mui run an inn just up ahead. Place with famous hot springs. If you like, Mui Mui can try to get you discount. Mui Mui is best friend! has many amazing 
Do you happen to be the, the Torah party? Ah, grand. Mew Mew, Mew Mew mentioned you'd be coming. It so happens that we're offering a special rate today. Yeah, sure, why not? We're also proud to offer one of the finest open air baths. Feel free to use them at your own leisure. Oh no, this is gonna be a f Oh no. Oh no. That feels good. Such wondrous bliss makes aching of journey melt away. Hang on. Should you even be in the bath? Won't you rest or something? They're no problem. Poppy made from special alloy. No rust or need for oil. Tora thought of everything, huh? Master Pond is finest artificial blade maker in all the world. Hey, Pyra. Come on in, the water's great. Wait, Mithra? Huh? Is there a problem? I, I guess not, but... Mm, nice bod you've got there. Thanks. When I told her there was a hot spring here, Mithra was dead set on trying it out. So, here I am. Must be interesting for you guys. A foot shot. Anyway, I think I'm heading out. Nia, are you? Mm, well, yeah. Do you want us to keep this quiet? Well, I'd appreciate it, yeah, for now. What? Understood. What? You got it. What? Thanks. What? 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 Phew, that was a good bath. Mithra seemed very pleased. Well, it was my first bath in 500 years. I think I have the right to savor it. Can you just switch whenever? With Pyra? Of course. Our memories are shared, so it doesn't matter that much who takes control. Hmm. Sounds pretty handy. Hey, what the hell was that? I cannot say. It sounds like some kind of disturbance. Let's find out. Come on. Huh. What's that look for? Oh, I was just surprised to see you. You'd rather I was her? I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> hey, can I ask something? Pro you Probably a bad time. No. Do you mind if I stay like this for the time being? Like this? You mean as Mithra? It hasn't been long since I woke up. And this is all new to you. We need time to adjust to using my power. She and I talked it over together. Mithra's power is much stronger than mine, but it has its limitations. It can be difficult to use in tight spaces. It might be best if you get used to using her in different situations. I mean, I don't mind at all. I'd like to learn more about Rex, you. Rex, you're too. in way over your head, buddy. What's that supposed to mean? I don't see how I'm any different from her, really. Really? You can certainly be more touchy sometimes. Well, well, that's just who I am. What do you expect me to do? You see what I mean? Ugh. What's that smile for? No, I just thought it's been fun lately. A lot's happened Isn't since meeting Isn't the city Pyra. under attack? 
And now I've met what? you too. <laughs> what? A lot of that stuff can have been easy. Why are we <laughs> so why having fun? heart to heart when something's Even under attack? These can be valuable experiences. <laughs> Is that weird? Always the optimist. Gramps gets mad at me for being too positive sometimes. More like all the time. Ah, was that over there? Looks like it. Okay. Time to take you down. Tora hungry so and coming fast. for them. <gasps> well done. Quit your hearts. You're done. Why not? Keep Fuck it. Fair. Yeah! Sword bash! <laughs> You're done! Poppy will protect Master Pan. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Spinning! Kata! Yeah! Well, well done! Set. Maybe we're not done! Gotcha! My hey, thoughts exactly! <laughs> You're done! We're rolling smash! We can do it! Yeah. Please leave it to me! You're done! Ha! Ah. I don't understand why, why things dying so quick. Is it just Mithra is just OP? Holy shit, it's waffles. Huh. That body mechanical. It's Mew Mew's oh. artificial blade. Who's that? Meh? Meh? <laughs> Lila? Wait! Lila! Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Wait, so, Tora. Ah, over there. Here I was thinking that this was this was some sort of good like main quest, but no, it's Tor's bullshit with two B Mark One. Oh, not here! Where did she go? Tora, wait. Did you know oh, that girl? She, he, he, she seemed somehow. He knew her name, of course he did, Rex. It was Lila. Lila. The artificial blade Tora's dad upon and Grampy Pon were making. Tora recognized her anywhere. Master Pon, they're an ether furnace reading nearby. Up there. <laughs> She's just right there. It, they just. <laughs> it is you. Ether furnace reading detected. Initiating protocol. <laughs> Probability of success falling. Switching to strategic retreat mode. Oh, at least we didn't lose in the Lyra! cinematic. In the cinematic. Wait! I mean, we still didn't win, but at least we didn't lose, right? That's a really. That's that was a great pointing animation there, puppy. She's gone. Ether furnace reading lost. It seems she has escaped. Lila. Long time ago, Grampy Pon Susu and Dada Pon Tatazo were working on her. Her name was Lila. Grampy Pon and Dada Pon and. Tora all wanted to become driver. However, not single one of us have potential. 
They're all nosebleeds. So we decide to work together and this make is so fucking blade. stupid. Blade even we can use. <sighs> but then. Gee, I wonder who's the pompon in the mask. Could it be Mew Mew? I wonder who it is. Gee, I wonder who could be behind. Who could be that mask pompon? You must run, Tora. Take this and go. Someday you finish what we started. <laughs> it's Tora's origin story. After that. Tora hide out in Torigoth City. Maybe how is this not a joke? Please. Ernest, please, someone Tora. explain to me how this isn't a joke. How is this not a joke? Do you have any idea who the attackers were? Tora not know who, but they definitely wanted to steal Lila. <laughs> this game is so good. <laughs> if it was Lila they were after, how'd she end up here? It's origin life? story. <laughs> it looked like they were Imperial soldiers after her. Tora have no idea. One thing is most confusing. Oh shit. What's uh, how did Mimi survive? When bad guys attacked the lab, Lila was not oh. finished. There only one who could finish making Lila. Dad upon Tadazo. Or Mew Mew. Which means Tora's father must still be alive somewhere. Dad upon must be held captive by whoever using Lila. You there, don't <laughs> move. <laughs> You're done. Imperial soldiers. <gasps> oh, it's Morag. How's it going, lass? You. So we meet again. Driver of the Aegis. Lady Morag, she's the one. That mechanical girl took down our squad. We were done. What? Hang on a minute. Where the hell did you get that idea? Well, she looks just like her. Unfortunately, they cannot tell difference between Lila and Poppy. So, Rex, was it? Rex, I'm very disappointed to find you stooping to such lowly crimes. Lowly crimes? What the heck? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guys. Do, 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 All right, can't wait to lose this battle after winning. Your skills have improved, boy. Mitra. I know, I know. I won't use that power, okay? Let's stick to foresight for this. If you really need to attack, I'll hand it over to Pyra. What? Thanks. We already attacked a bunch. The Aegis has changed. What happened to her appearance? Answer me! You want answers? Then put the swords away! What's wrong with you? I'll listen to your confession while you lie defeated! Rex, after this foresight, I'll switch to Pyra. Understood. Why would we switch to the fire Pokemon when they are fire? Impossible! He dodged it! Now it's my turn! Lady Morag, look at the Aegis, so you can change at will. Eat this! Burning sword! Pyra? We can do this, without hitting them. Ha! <laughs> it's like you read my mind. <laughs> Are you holding back on me again, boy? We just don't have any reason to fight you. Enough, both of you. I know you. You're from the Argentum Guild's intelligence what? division. Lady Morag, stand down arms. These not the ones who infiltrate the facility and attack your soldiers. Then the culprit behind the attack. I mean, we killed the about twenty guys. Here now, is that right? They very similar, but not the same. Nira Nira saw her with own Is eyes. this a British no pun? I had a feeling. 
We were being watched since our arrival. I quite sorry for causing concern. Nera Nera has been auditing our Gentum Trade Guild. This guy's way cooler than Tora. Ah, so you were keeping an eye on us because we came in on a guild ship. How ironic that your suspicion should happen to prove our innocence. It appears I was too hasty in judging you. I should not have attacked you so suddenly. My apologies. What? Yeah, sorry for killing about 28 men. No, no, that's men. fine. Nobody got hurt in the end. Um, I'm just glad it all got cleared up now. An apology from the illustrious Flamebringer. A rare reward in itself. Tora's still not happy. Should get years' supply of tasty sausages as compensation. Shut the fuck up, Master Tora. Have some yeah, exactly. Hmm. I will do what I can within my own means to compensate you. By the way, the culprit who fled the scene... Might I ask what manner of connection you have with them? You must tell me all. Is Mithra taller than Pyra? I see. It seems it would be best for all of us if we work together for the moment. Us work with you? Indeed. My goal is to capture the artificial blade and track down the criminals behind its actions. And from what you just told me, those I seek likely have Tora's father held captive. Would you not say our interests align? Uh, I guess so. Well, it's definitely better to have her working with us than against us. We shouldn't take the power of Frigid, jewel of the Empire, too lightly. If she went all out on me, even I wouldn't be able to hold back. And then, we'd burn this place to the ground. I, I am honored that the Aegis herself I don't think thinks so. so highly of me. You may not remember it, but I faced you a few times before. Let's just say it wasn't easy. Oh, really? But that's a story for another time. What do you say, guys? I can't deny I'd rather avoid making an enemy of them. Tora, Tora, better get his sausages. All right, then. So, from this moment on, I suppose we're allies. I like more egg. For the moment, I will return to the palace. If you learn anything new, please send word. I will instruct the palace guards to allow you audience with me. All right. All right, then. See you later, Morag. I'm going to pop off in my waifu boxes, if you don't mind. I'm going to open a few. Are you sure you wish to partner yourself with these people? Just as you were not using your full strength, neither still were they. Yet you saw the power they demonstrated. How could I not feel intrigued? Drawn by your driver instincts? Something like that. And besides... Hmm? I get the feeling that if I stay near that boy, I might bear witness to something quite extraordinary. Do, 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 do. It sounds like you have quite the adventure, but it's good that you work things out. Still has the lab Anyway, on. we'll see if we can track Lila down somehow ourselves. I too will see if I can find any leads. No matter what, Mui Mui and Fred will find Professor Tatazo. Oh, yes. That's it right there. <laughs>